Today is Monday, April 12th, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is companionship with the living Lord. Let us pray. Merciful and loving God, I come seeking quiet communion with you. In this place, apart from confusion and stress, grant me stillness of heart and quietness in thy presence. Amen. Our psalm for this week is Psalm 121. I raise my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from true life, the maker of heaven and earth. God won't let your foot slip. Your protector won't fall asleep on the job. No, Israel's protector never sleeps or rests. True life is your protector. True life is your shade right beside you. The sun won't strike you during the day. Neither will the moon at night. True life will protect you from all evil. God will protect your very life. True life will protect you on your journey, whether going or coming, from now until forever from now. Our daily scripture is Ezekiel 36, verses 22 through 36. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, True life God proclaims, House of Israel, I'm not acting for your sake, but for the sake of my holy name, which you degraded among the nations where you have gone. I will make my great name holy, which was degraded among the nations when you dishonored it among them. Then the nations will know that I am true life. This is what true life God says. When I make myself holy among you in their sight, I will take you from the nations. I will gather you from all the countries, and I will bring you to your own fertile land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be cleansed of all your pollution. I will cleanse you of all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove your stony heart from your body and replace it with a living one. And I will give you my spirit so that you may walk according to my regulations and carefully observe my case laws. Then you will live in the land that I gave to your ancestors you will be my people, and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness, and I will summon the grain and make it grow abundantly so that you won't endure famine. I will make abundant the orchard's fruit and the field's produce so that you will never again endure the shame of famine among the nations. 
Then you will remember your evil ways and no good deeds. And you will feel disgust for yourselves because of your sinful and detestable practices. Not for your sake do I act. This is what true life God proclaims. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and be humiliated because of all your ways, house of Israel. True life God proclaims, On the day that I cleanse you of all your guilt, I will cause the cities to be inhabited, and the ruins will be rebuilt. The desolate land will be farmed, and it won't be like it was when it seemed a wasteland to all who passed by. They will say, this land, which was a desolation, has become like the Garden of Eden. And the cities that were ruined, ravaged, and razed are now fortified and inhabited. The surviving nations around you will know that I, true life, have rebuilt what was torn down and have planted what was made desolate. I, True life have spoken, and I will do it. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. In this word of prophecy from Ezekiel, God promises to take away the sins of the people in order that relationship between God and the people can be restored. God says, you will be my people and I will be your God. God longs for us all to enjoy a relationship of love and trust with God. How would you describe your relationship with God? Is there anything that keeps you from trusting God? Sin separates us from God and leads us down paths that are harmful to us and to others. What sin do you need to walk away from and be forgiven in order to live the kind of life God wants for you? Sin tears down and destroys. God rebuilds and recreates. What area of your life is in need of God's rebuilding skills? Our reading today comes from A Serious Call to a Devout and Holy Life by William Law. 
one who dares not say an ill-natured word or do an unreasonable thing because he or she considers God as everywhere present, performs a better devotion than one who dares not miss the church. To live in the world as a stranger and a pilgrim, using all its enjoyments as if we used them not, making all our actions as so many steps toward a better life, is offering a better sacrifice to God than any forms of holy and heavenly prayers. To be humble in our actions, to avoid every appearance of pride and vanity, to be meek and lowly in our words, actions, dress, behavior, and designs, all in imitation of our blessed Savior, is worshiping God in a higher manner than do they who have only stated times to fall low on their knees in devotions. A person who is contented with necessities that he or she may give the remainder to those who need it, who dares not spend any money foolishly, considering it as a talent from God which must be used according to God's will, praises God with something that is more glorious than songs of praise. Let us pray. God, you see the damage that our sin creates, and you offer to forgive us and recreate us. May we surrender ourselves to you, that you may indeed cleanse us from our sin. We offer to you our hearts, that you may replace any stony and stubborn parts with your heart of flesh, your heart of love. We pray for those who need to know the gift of your forgiveness. Help them to know that nothing they have done is beyond your ability or your willingness to forgive. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have forgotten their own need for your mercy and so refuse to offer mercy to others. May they recognize in themselves the sin of self-righteousness and allow you to cleanse that sin from them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that you will help us all to offer forgiveness to anyone who has harmed us, that we may enter into your joy, the joy of freedom that only forgiveness can bring. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. O oh God, as I prepare to leave this quiet place, give me a sense of your power and your glory, that I may take it everywhere you send me today. Amen. Go in peace.